Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nello here as always and if you're new, you are so welcome. If you're not new, thank you so much for tuning back in. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. And yes, as you guys can see, I'm in a hotel room. Well, I'm not in my usual setting with the backdrop and everything. I'm currently on holiday with my husband who is in my background. You guys can see him on the bed somewhere. And you know, I didn't want this week to pass without putting out content. So I made an effort to actually come and film this get ready with me for you guys today. And yes, I'm just going to be talking while filming is our fourth anniversary today. Amazing, right? It's our fourth anniversary and it's so weird because obviously we celebrated fourth anniversary since last year you know how nigerian weddings are when you do your introduction and then tra traditional marriage like three months later and white wedding like five months later so it's so funny because to us we've been married for four years going to five years it's supposed to be five years this year actually but technically it's our fourth wedding anniversary because today is the anniversary of, of our white wedding so of our church wedding if you want to put it that way so yes today is our anniversary i'm excited we started to like get away a little bit for this anniversary period we are currently in dubai the kids are back home my sister who is so amazing my twin sister if you guys have been following me you must have seen her in my channel a number of times i call her my twin sister she's um with the kids nj you're amazing and i love you so much thank you thank you thank you because if she wasn't if she didn't come to stay with them we don't have had the opportunity to come out here and enjoy ourselves a little bit too thank you so much nj let me stop rambling i'm just going to get ahead and start my makeup <laughs> So today we are just supposed to like we're supposed to go to like a water park and like or a theme park or something. Shall we just supposed to go and have fun? That's what Francis is currently checking where we are going to go. So I'm just going to do my makeup because I mean when you're on holiday you want to look good every single day because you get to take pictures and stuff like that. So yesterday your girl went to Sephora. Ha ha ha. Okay? I went to Sephora and I finally got my hands on Fenty Beauty. Obviously, see, Fenty was the only reason I went to Sephora yesterday. So I got the Fenty Beauty Foundation shade 400, and I equally got the concealer in shade 380. So I'm going to be using those two products uh, on my face today. I'll also be using the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle um, Plush Lipstick, whatever. And this is the shade Candy Venom. This was the sample pack that was given to me, so I'm going to use that as well on my lips today, just because why not and also i got the fenty beauty fly liner which i'm going to be using today as well i got a, lot, a bunch of sample gifts that gave me this from kat von d and a whole bunch of other things here that i won't be using today shy but anyhow let's go ahead and i'm just going to quickly rub my foundation concealer and then um i'll come back and we'll just while we we'll finish up the makeup we don't want this video to be too long you know because i think i'm going to show you guys like my room tour at the end of the video so i don't want to like make this video too long plus i'm in a hurry so let's just start the makeup let's start I am so loving how my face is looking right now the combo of the foundation and concealer is so amazing um, I'm not going to be baking the concealer today 
because I found out that this foundation is really, 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 really mattifying. So yesterday, like the one I applied at the store, I didn't even set it and it was so much like something that I set. So I'm just not going to set like big today. I'm just going to lightly set my whole face. But I'm using my Colourpop as usual. See, Colourpop is bay, like, I can't just get tired of Colourpop, okay? No matter what I do, Colourpop is forever and always going to be bay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and contour highlights and all those things and I'll be using my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette this is what I've been contouring with these two shades right here this one mostly for my nose then I kind of bronze with this and then contour with this so I just used two of them together anyway so we are celebrating our anniversary here and I mean it's just nice to get away from the kids you know sometimes it's not every time you know being a mother and being a father sometimes it's good to just get away and i don't know enjoy yourselves a little bit so that's why we chose to travel we don't actually get to travel a lot so yeah it's good that i mean i'm going to make it a thing and try that every year at least we we'll get away once or twice maybe I mean our pockets will decide but for the for the most part it will be nice to just get away so we've just been here chilling yesterday we went out um, we did some shopping shopping here is a bit annoying to be honest let me not even lie it's a bit annoying because their fashion is all covered up and just I don't know somehow so it's not like shopping in the UK or US or a lot of other places. For me or personally, I feel like shopping here is a bit boring. But I just had to get a few things that, you know, I can use throughout this day because I didn't really pack clothes as I was coming. You know when you have in mind, okay, you're going to shop. If I had known, I would have actually done my shopping in Nigeria. And, uh, you know, just come here and rock them. But it's late for that now. I'm going to make do with what I have. Oh, done. Everything is just like all oh, my makeup is on one tiny table. Everything is just falling as I'm trying to grab them. It's a bit annoying. Anyways, I love how my face looks. Like I absolutely love how my face looks. It doesn't look caked up, but it, it's like really, really good coverage. And then I get it when people say like, you know, they love this foundation because I actually absolutely love how my face looks. But you know the funny thing here. It's always like when you're at home, you're stressed, you want to get away, you want to just leave the kids and travel and explore. But once you get there, it's almost like I miss them so much, I want to go back. Whenever I see Kobe, like whenever I'm like um, doing video call with them and I see Kobe, I miss him so much. And then Kaito, I miss Kaito so much. It's just so funny. like. I actually really wanted to get away from them and just breathe but right now it's like I want to go back well I don't really want to go back but I want to go back <laughs> it's like I want to go back I want to see them I miss them so much oh my god Kaito is doing this without me Kobe is doing this without me blah 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 and I don't know it's just like I don't know that's just that's just how it is Sha. you can't have your cake I mean, you can't eat your cake and have it so you have to pick one or the other it's either you stay here and enjoy yourself but you go back and be with the kids so you kind of have to pick one but it's all good we're going back soon this trip is just for um just a little over a week and this is already our fourth day i think or fifth fourth day it's already day four or day three so it's already getting to an end actually i think we'll have less than a week left like six days or so so it's already getting to an end so I have to actually enjoy myself the best I can before going back to start stressing, doing business and just a lot of other things. So let me 
tell you guys what happened like the day we got here so we booked our hotel from booking.com so um we booked this hotel since because we planned this holiday like a long time ago so we booked this hotel in december and um you know they don't charge your card to the day you're supposed to check in so on that day we were obviously on our way here and we had on board wi-fi thank god because as we were there francis got a mail that oh they tried to charge his card and it didn't go through if we don't update our card we'll lose our reservation mind you we're already on our way here and Francis quickly updated his card details to another card so that they'll be able to charge that card and then you know we just continued flying something now told us to just try and contact these people we couldn't exactly call them so we got my sister NJ to call them long story short our reservation was cancelled that they could not charge the card blah 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 stories like that I'm gonna try to tell these people like we're on our way here we don't have any other Plan any other reservation what do you want us to do and they're just like okay when we finally landed we called them ourselves because angie was helping us call them in the first place so we called them ourselves and they were like you know what we should just come to the hotel but the guy we talked to was like even before we come we should just try and make another reservation just in case and then we tried to reserve and there was no space from that night that we got here so we could reserve from the next day so we shall ended up going to the hotel hoping they would do something for us and they're like they have 800 and something rooms and all the rooms are fully booked and um there's really nothing they can do for us till tomorrow but they can help us like make another reservation in another hotel where we'll just go and pay cash blah 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 or pay share and just check in it was so annoying because we had such a lot our flight was like six hours 30 minutes you know and we left the house very early in the morning you know lagos now we left like 5 a.m to get to the airport or so and we just had a long day we got in here we got to this place around 11 p.m and then they we're just telling us that so 11 p.m dubai time i think it's like um, 8 8 8 p.m Nigerian time long story short we had to book another hotel down the street golden tulip the room was so tiny i didn't like it whatsoever and i mean I, at that point I, I was just tired i wanted to sleep i did a mini room tour of that room it's going to be my vlog yeah, when this dubai vlog goes up but i was just but before we went to the golden to the world, i now paid for this place like for the duration of our stay because i absolutely love this hotel once i saw this hotel I was like no i'm staying here francis loved it i loved it so we had to book here so that golden tulip for one night was unfortunate and see let me tell you it's not even like the price different there was like quite different it was like kind of the same thing for a night that like the same thing we paid for a night a golden sleep is what we paid here kind of and this hotel just way better so we shall stay there for a night came back here the next day and now like got our room i'm going to show you guys what the room looks like at the end of this video i did a mini room tour but i, I was going to include it in the vlog but i'm thinking that vlog is going to be way too long because I mean if I show you guys everything I like we get up to here or most things we get up to here the vlog is going to be a really 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 long vlog so I'll just show you guys your room tour at the end of this video right now at the end of this get ready with me so stay tuned don't forward to the end to see the room tour no stay here stay here watch, watch the video and then at the end you're going to get to see the room but yeah that was what happened to us so but the manager in this hotel was so nice he was one that now helped us book um the room at the golden tulip sent someone because it's literally down the street sent someone to help us carry our bag and just check us in there you know so yeah that's it and oh see let me tell you guys the next day after we now came back to check in we saw the manager who was nice was even like trying to crack jokes with us telling us no room available but it was a joke obviously uh, because we already paid so anyhow the manager was so nice and then he handed like our check-in over to some other people at the counter and you know when we talked to the manager we told him we wanted a room like like a very high floor shower we don't we're not very specific like 16 17 18 you know just a very high floor maybe from 15 and above that will have like a very good sea view which is actually what i'm looking at now that will have like a sea view and the manager was like okay there is none available at that moment but there is one that's going to be available in maybe one hour if we can wait 
um, so that they will clean it up and get it ready for us. And we're like, fine, we'll wait, because I mean, at that point, we're not really in a hurry. And then the guy handed it over to someone else just for us to finish waiting one whole hour, you people. One whole hour, we were sitting down at the balcony, just chilling, waiting for our fine room to get ready. And then next thing, someone walks up to us and we're like, okay, our room is ready and gives us the key and pointed at a different building than the one that the manager gave us and said, our room is like seven something, like we're supposed to be on the seventh floor. And we're just like, nope, nope, we're not taking that room. We don't want that room. First of all, like we've been through a lot, it, like in this hotel, the fact that our renovation was canceled yesterday, the least you can do is give us the room that we requested for. And they were like, okay, that... Um, that room we wanted is not ready unless we can wait another hour or unless we can wait a very long time Sha. blah 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 we told them see manager already told us our room is going to be 16 uh, something like our room is on the 16th floor so it's supposed to be like 1 6 something something Francis remember the room number he told them and and um, you know that room we want please can you call the manager for us we want to talk to the manager and they're like it's okay if you want to wait you can wait we're just trying to let you know that your room is not going to be available for a long time and blah 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 i'm like yes if it's, even if it's going to take all day we're going to wait wait we'll leave our bags here and go into town and come back and they're like that's fine and we went back and sat down just for like 30 seconds later but you, you guys i literally mean 30 seconds it wasn't even up to one minute later the same lady walks up to us okay here's your room key blah 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 blah. i'm just like jesus i was so freaking pissed you do realize that our room was actually ready but i just feel like they wanted to give the nice room with the nice view to someone else because they're trying to tell us every room is the same we're like we don't, we don't care about the room we just want a good view like we want a good view. This woman wanted to actually give that room out to someone else because how would that room be ready and she comes to give us another one? Because even when you look at our reservation, you could see that the manager already put in that room there. Because when we went to the counter to sort it out, she could see it there. See, yeah, this woman, that, that thing just really pissed me off, but I just had to calm down, respect myself, and just collect our room key and just start coming to our room. The view from this room is so nice, like extremely nice and yeah it was what we were waiting for I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with fly liner i'm so excited to use this guys this is the finished look and yes i'm loving this combo like i've not done pink lips in such a long time i think this is going to be my new favorite lip combo for the time being i absolutely love it and i went with a longer wig but i don't know if i'm going to cave in and still wear my bob because i've been wearing that bob so much lately and i absolutely love it anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to go ahead now and show you guys the room tour and yes after the room tour video is over so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share you guys already know at this point okay and i'll see you guys in my next video so enjoy the room tour so guys this is the door so once you enter the room you move forward we have a little mirror right here and okay let me start from the toilet this is what the toilet looks like just very basic very nice very cute it doesn't have a shower which i am sad about actually because the hotel we stayed in yesterday that one had a shower and i really liked it but it's okay it's all right it's not bad the toilet is very nice very basic not too big not too small then you turn to the left and you see the room obviously way more special than the one we slept uh, in yesterday night uh the table the fridge very empty fridge you have all this space right here tv uh chair bed let me show you guys the room from this angle this is what the room looks like it looks really good i love just how spacious it is i don't like hotel rooms that are very compacted i just like space so it looks really good and then we get this couch and a very beautiful view oh my god can you guys see this view <sighs> 
Can you see this view? It's so nice. This is a view we get. Just amazing.